Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia, the Flats, Bobby Dodge Stadium, home of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Ramblin' Wreck, hoping to rev up that engine. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Virginia Tech Hokies, Taking on another team from the ACC, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Hokies will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Yellow Jackets offense takes the field for the first time today. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. On the run, it's Haynes. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Wide open downfield. A giant chunk of yardage picked up there and there down to the 24. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Yellow Jackets racing to the line in the hurry up. Going up top on first down. He's got an open man. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The Yellow Jackets will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. <laughs> you ain't lying. Getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Virginia Tech's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. The offense set for a first down play. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Pulls it in. It's Tootin. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. 
He opened the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. And that quarterback knew the counter run was going to work on that play because he counted the box defensively before the snap. He saw that he had an advantage in numbers and blockers getting a hat on a hat, so he knew that was a green light. As soon as he got the snap, off they go, and it's an explosive play. Bully ball on third and short. Gets it to the 46-yard line, first down for this offense. And that's back-to-back -back now. We've seen this running back get it done on their opening drive of the game. That last carry got the first down. So if I'm the offensive coordinator right now, I love the way my O-line's playing, and I love the way this guy's toting the rock. I'm going to give it to him again. And the Hokies will snap it on first and 10. The give to the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but... That usually equals a first down every couple carries, so don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest, pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Touch pass on the run. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first, it's at the 37. Hokey, 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 high tech, tech, VPI got it rolling on the ground. And Virginia Tech fans love that chant, and they love the physical ground game and the ability to run the football. That's kind of who they are. That's how they're built. Just a tough group of individuals. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Georgia Tech has the lead. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. They're down to the 20, first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Leaves it with the back. Knocked down after a pickup of six, and they're trying to impose their will in the red zone. Balls at the 13. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestling down short of the first down. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. No good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. 
Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Finds a tight end. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Here's the handoff. At midfield, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. The RPO, it's complete. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Line getting set on second down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Looking for a deep man. Fires the pass, intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. A lot of quarterbacks have so much confidence that they can fit the ball in tight windows. How about the defensive player right here making an unbelievable interception, forcing the turnover, big play, big momentum swing. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The give to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Looking to throw its drones. Quickly out to the tight end. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Buys a little extra time. Keeps the play going. At the 35, he's got room. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. They'll rush to the line. Clock stopped for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. He wants to throw. Shoots it to the left. Makes the grab. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. The Hokies have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you could tell he extends for the ball. But great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Fires to the big fella. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Well, they're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. They missed a field goal on that last drive, but here on third down, they can't afford for this possession to come up empty. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. He's going to run it. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. It's first and 10 from the 13. 
looking to pass inside the red zone. Gets it out quickly. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He's got it. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. You saw the tight end on a big play there in that last third down. Why not go back to him again here in the red zone with his size and his athleticism? He is a matchup nightmare down in this area of the field. Just enough time to get off one more snap. Looking downfield, it's Drones. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. And with time running out here in the first half, this offense will choose to take a knee. As expected, they're content to run out the clock and go into halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Yellow Jackets will kick it away to crank up the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And we're about to get another look at this hokey offense. They'll open the second half on the ground. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. And the Hokies will hustle to the line. Back to throw, it's Drones. Unloads it left. He makes a catch. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. He keeps throwing it like this for the Hokies, and the defense will have to sleep with one eye open. And the defense is going to have to grip those pillows tight because when a QB gets going and spinning it with the ability to run the football, too, and, and the diversity in this offense, it can be tough, and the Hokies fans will be excited. From the gun, the ground game. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance and, and right here just choose up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it, and right now he's doing some damage on this defense. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short gain. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Leaves it with the running back. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Looking down the middle. Complete downfield. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Now, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Back to throw. It's Drones. Bakes to grab on the left. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route running. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. The Hokies want to pick up the tempo. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Fires to the tight end. He'll come through on third down as he's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. They'll go right back to the run. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Georgia Tech has the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On the ground, it's Tootin. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, running back on the move. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to add another.
And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. Complete to start this drive. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. They ran it on first down, now on second. It's a draw. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's King. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught, and he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. When you run those routes, those curl routes just like that, those DBs are going to break when you go to throw the football. So you better put that thing on a line, and the QB did there. Put it on a line. Great job. Great catch. First down. The Yellow Jackets have it with a first and 10. He's going to pass. The freshman able to get home with the sack. And nice answer by this defense. You give up a big play, you go take a big play. Sometimes you get down on yourselves and one play turns to two. Nice job by this defense getting a sack, creating some momentum. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. Looking for space, it's Haynes. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Really nice play call there on second and long by the offensive coordinator. He was able to get a lot of that yardage back by running the football, and now, of course, it sets up a third and manageable situation. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. They've got the screen set up. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him, and now he can turn upfield for a big gainer. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Well, whether it's play calling or whether it's the quarterback's decision making, they're playing it way too safe. They can't dink and dunk and win this game. At this point, you've got to take shots. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Back to pass, it's King. Fires to the wide out. And this will be picked off a costly turnover in a tie game. And he returned that in to reverse skate in a hurry and takes it to the 46. It's the plays like that that are going to end up defining and deciding this game, right? It's tight. Tie game, fourth quarter. Someone is going to step up and make a game-changing play, and the defender did right there. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop. 
and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I got to have a score. I'm not worried about downs. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We practiced this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass, go to third down. If we need to go for it on fourth down, this offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Quickly complete. The defense is going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And that's just a very easy, comfortable throw for the quarterback. He knows he has his big target, the tight end, running across the field on the drag. Nice play. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Brings a tackle, and he's got room. The defense calls the timeout. They're second of the day as they try to get their act together. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. They'll give it to him again. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves into position to win. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. You got to call the game to win it right now. Less than a minute to go. A field goal is going to do it for you. Every time you drop back and throw the ball, you're risking taking a sack. So if you're going to throw it, the ball's got to come out quickly. But I think at this juncture, you'd love to be able to run and give your field goal kicker a chance. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. 